New York City is considered one of the most haunted places in the U.S. due to its long history, significant population, and numerous historical events, some of which involve tragedy and mystery. There are several locations within the city that are famous for ghost stories and paranormal activity. The ghost stories tied to New York City are often linked to the city's long, storied history of immigration, political events, and crime. With so many people coming and going over the centuries, tragic events like murders, suicides, and accidental deaths have fueled ghost stories. Buildings that are hundreds of years old have witnessed countless human dramas, and some believe that intense emotions or unfinished business leave behind a spiritual residue. Many buildings, theaters, and streets in New York are believed to be haunted, contributing to its reputation as one of the most haunted places in the country. Here are a few of the most notable haunted places in New York. Number 1. The House of Death The House of Death, located at 14 West 10th Street in Greenwich Village, New York, is often called the city's most haunted building. This brownstone townhouse, built in the 1850s, has a chilling reputation due to the numerous paranormal occurrences and tragic events linked to it. Over the years, it has been the site of around 22 reported deaths, giving rise to many ghostly legends. One of the most famous residents of the Houses of Death was the celebrated author Mark Twain, who lived there briefly in 1900. Although he stayed for only about a year, some say his spirit never truly left. Many residents and visitors have reported seeing his ghost, often described wearing a white suit, standing on the staircase or in the hallway. Twain, known for his skepticism about the supernatural, is ironically one of the most famous specters of the building. Beyond Twain's ghost, the building is believed to be haunted by numerous other spirits. Over the decades, residents have reported mysterious footsteps, eerie sounds, and unsettling feelings of being watched. Some claim to have seen apparitions of a woman in a white gown, shadowy figures, and even children's ghosts. Perhaps the most tragic and unsettling story linked to the Houses of Death involves a murder that took place in 1987. Joel Steinberg, a lawyer, was arrested after he brutally beat his six-year-old adopted daughter, Lisa, inside the home. She later died from her injuries, and her death added to the dark, haunted reputation of the building. The combination of multiple deaths, Twain's ghost, and the tragic murder has turned 14 West 10th Street into a hotspot for paranormal activity. Paranormal investigators, ghost enthusiasts, and curious visitors often talk about the building's intense energy and haunted history. The House of Death remains a residential building, but its chilling past and ghostly encounters make it one of New York's most notorious haunted locations. Its history, coupled with frequent reports of paranormal activity, have secured its place in the city's eerie folklore. Number 2. Buffalo Central Terminal Buffalo Central Terminal, located in Buffalo, New York, is one of the most haunted places in the state. This once bustling train station, which opened in 1929, was an important hub for travelers in the early 20th century. However, after decades of decline, it was abandoned in 1979 leaving behind an eerie, decaying structure that many believe is haunted by spirits from its past. The terminal's grand architecture, with its towering lobby and vast concourses, now sits mostly empty, creating an ideal setting for ghostly encounters. Paranormal investigators, visitors, and local legends have all contributed to the terminal's reputation as a haunted hotspot. One of the most commonly reported spirits is a man in a long coat often seen walking through the station's main concars. Witnesses say he vanishes when approached, leaving behind a cold, unsettling feeling. Some speculate that he might be a former worker or traveler who met an unfortunate end and is now trapped in the terminal. There are also stories of a mysterious woman in white who has been seen wandering the station's platforms. According to local lore, she might have been a passenger who never made it to her destination, doomed to roam the terminal forever. Visitors often report hearing footsteps and voices, even when they are completely alone in the building. In addition to these apparitions, the terminal is said to be haunted by the spirits of people who might have died in the station over the years. Trains used to bring in soldiers during World War II, some of whom never returned home. 
It is believed that the terminal's history as a place of both joyous reunions and heartbreaking farewells has left a lingering emotional energy that fuels these hauntings. The abandoned terminal has become a favorite location for paranormal investigators who have captured strange phenomena, including eerie voices, unexplained sounds, and shadowy figures on film. People who visit the terminal often feel a sense of unease, and some have even reported feeling an invisible presence watching them. Today, the terminal is occasionally open to the public for tours and events, and its haunted reputation continues to draw ghost hunters and curious visitors. Its combination of architectural grandeur and paranormal activity has made Buffalo Central Terminal a focal point of haunted stories in the region. Number 3. New York State Capitol The New York State Capitol, located in Albany, is not only a symbol of political power, but also a site with a reputation for being one of the most haunted buildings in the state. This massive castle-like structure took over 30 years to build, starting in 1867 and it is said that the long construction process and various tragedies over the years have left behind a number of ghosts. One of the most famous haunted stories tied to the Capitol is about Samuel Abbott, a night watchman who died in a fire in 1911. The fire destroyed much of the west wing of the building, and although many people were inside at the time, Abbott was the only one who didn't make it out. Since his death, people have reported seeing his ghost wandering the halls at night, some claim to have heard footsteps or even seen his shadowy figure making his rounds, as though he's still protecting the building after all these years. Another ghost said to haunt the Capitol is that of William Morris Hunt, an artist who painted murals in the assembly chamber. Hunt's murals were lost due to water damage, which deeply saddened him. Some people believe that his spirit still lingers in the building, perhaps upset over the destruction of his artwork. Visitors have reported hearing strange sounds or feeling an unexplained presence near the room where his murals once stood. The Hall of Governors, which showcases portraits of former governors, is another area where paranormal activity has been reported. Some believe that the spirits of past governors or important political figures still roam the halls. People working late at the Capitol have shared stories of cold spots, eerie feelings, and the sensation of being watched in this area. In addition to these specific ghosts, there are general reports of unexplained noises, such as doors slamming shut on their own, strange whispers, and lights flickering without reason. Many Capitol employees have said that they feel uneasy when they are alone in certain parts of the building, especially at night. Today, the Capitol remains an active government building, but its haunted reputation still draws attention. Tours of the building often include some of the ghost stories, and those interested in the paranormal can take special haunted tours that delve into the building's spooky past. Whether or not you believe in ghosts, the New York State Capitol's long history, and the tales of spirits lingering in its hall, St. Paul's Chapel. St. Paul's Chapel, located in Lower Manhattan, is the oldest surviving church building in New York City, and it holds a rich history that dates back to its construction in 1766. While this beautiful Georgian-style chapel is a symbol of resilience, having survived events like the Great Fire of 1776 and the attacks of September 11, 2001 also has a reputation for being haunted. The chapel's churchyard, which served as a burial ground for many prominent figures from the 18th and 19th centuries, is often where ghost stories begin. Visitors to the graveyard have reported seeing strange apparitions and shadowy figures moving between the tombstones, particularly at night. Some claim to have heard the faint sound of footsteps or even disembodied voices, especially around the graves of soldiers from the American Revolution, many of whom were buried there after the war. One of the most famous stories tied to St. Paul's Chapel involves the spirit of George Frederick Cook, an English actor who died in New York in 1812. Cook was buried in St. Paul's churchyard, but there's a twist. His head was separated from his body after his death to pay off debts. Many believe that his restless spirit roams the grounds in search of his missing head. Visitors and staff have reported eerie encounters, such as hearing footsteps when no one is around, or feeling cold drafts in the otherwise warm air near his grave. Inside the chapel itself, there are reports of paranormal activity. People have described hearing soft whispers, especially during quiet moments, even when the chapel is empty. Some have seen the figure of a man dressed in old-fashioned clothing, believed to be a soldier from the American Revolution, 
sitting in one of the pews. He's said to vanish when approached, leaving behind a sense of unease. There are also accounts of ghostly soldiers from the American Revolution lingering around the chapel. Since St. Paul's was used as a place of worship by both British and American troops during the Revolutionary War, it is believed that some of their spirits may have stayed behind. People have seen spectral soldiers in colonial uniforms, standing guard or wandering the churchyard, and there are reports of the sounds of muskets or drums being heard in the distance. The bell tower, too, is believed to be a source of paranormal activity. Some have reported seeing shadowy figures moving up the stairs toward the bell, only to disappear before reaching the top. Today, St. Paul's Chapel is still an active place of worship, but it is also a historic site visited by tourists and paranormal enthusiasts. Number 5. Sleepy Hollow Cemetery Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, located in the historic village of Sleepy Hollow, New York, is one of the most famous haunted places in the United States. It sits on the banks of the Pocantico River and is famously tied to Washington Irving's 1820 story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. The cemetery's connection to the tale of the Headless Horseman, along with its eerie atmosphere, has made it a hub for ghost stories and paranormal experiences. According to Irving's tale, the Headless Horseman was the ghost of a Hessian soldier who lost his head during the American Revolution. Legend has it that he rides through the cemetery at night, searching for his lost head. While this may just be a fictional story, many visitors have reported seeing a mysterious figure on horseback, especially during misty, moonlit nights, lending a real sense of the supernatural to Irving's ghostly legend. Another area of interest in the cemetery is the bridge over the Pocantico River, which is often associated with the tale of Ichabod Crane the character from the legend of Sleepy Hollow who famously encountered the Headless Horseman near the river. Sleepy Hollow Cemetery is also the burial place of other notable historical figures, including Andrew Carnegie, the steel magnate, and Elizabeth Arden, the cosmetics mogul. Though there are no specific ghost stories linked to these famous graves, their presence adds to the cemetery's rich history and mystique. Whether or not you believe in the paranormal, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery offers a unique combination of real history and ghostly folklore.